Welcome to the introductory tutorial for Ocular, a stylish business template for Joomla 2.5 and 3. We've got a really nice template for you here. It's very clean and utilizing the latest color schemes and flat design styles. And as you see, we have uh, many module positions here. And look, a cupcake. Now, who doesn't like cupcakes? Yes, we have four sweet styles for you here in the template. Yeah, we've got a testimonial section here, the latest from the blog. Some images with some nice CSS3 hover effects. We have a, a newsletter function here, and this is ACY mailing. Down here, we have the make contact. Email us, find us, call us. And we have a nice stylish footer here with some social networking and some links. And down here, uh, an address. So let's go over the module positions here real quick. So up here in the top left, we have our user tools. And this is just a custom HTML module that provides a login link, a register, a search, and subscribe. The login goes to the core Joomla login. And since it's a custom HTML module, you can go ahead and put in your own link. Say you're using Jom Social or some other third-party component and you want the login to go there and the register. You can just change the link there. Search links to the core Joomla search. And the subscribe is just an anchor link that drops us down here to the subscribe to the newsletter. And back up here in the top right, we have our socializer wall. And we're just displaying just a limited amount of icons here. And then here in the logo position, it's not really a module position. The logo is set in the back end, but we're going to call it a position because it's there in the top left. And all you need to do to change a logo is upload your own custom logo to the template folder images and logos, and then select it from the back end parameters. And here we have our suckerfish menu. Uh, we've included a suckerfish menu, a responsive menu, mobile menu, as well as a dual fish menu. And here you've got some nice hover effects using CSS3. And here in the inset position, uh, we have a slideshow of articles. And then we have more articles here. And this is done with our Deluxe News Pro module. This is all one module position. And the background for this area is selected in the template manager. Here in the user one position, we also have our Deluxe News Pro. And this is creating a four column layout, but have one featured article here. And here in the left four position, this is a custom HTML module, just with some text that says get our newsletter. And here in the right four module, we have the ACY mailing module, so people can su subscribe to the newsletter. Then down here where the cupcake is, this is in left five, and it's simply just an image that we're calling into a custom HTML module. And then here in user 19, this is also custom HTML, so you can just change the text here real easy and link your button to wherever you want to link it to. Here in the testimonials area, we're using our Deluxe News Pro, and this is in user 25. And this is the intro text, the author, and the intro image. Here in right 6, this is also the Deluxe News Pro. As you can see, the Deluxe News Pro is very versatile, and you can use it um, to do just about anything, from slideshows to featured articles to columns, grids, whatever you want. So here we have the featured blog. This is the title, the date, the author, intro text, a read more button, and a link to the category. And now let's go ahead and move down to user 31. As well, this is the Deluxe News Pro. And this is just the intro image and the title with some CSS3 hover effects. Here in user 31, it's the ACY mailing module again. And this text was just put in right there in the ACY mailing module. And there's the email and the subscribe button. And then we'll go down here to user 37. Just another custom HTML module with some links here. Here we have a nice little model pop-up that comes up and it shows the, at, the location with a map. 
And that's all just inputted in the custom HTML module. So you can change this pretty easily. Just go ahead and change your links. Uh, you can change the icons. This is using a font awesome for the icons and just some simple links. And let's get to the bottom of the template here. In user 43, it's another custom HTML module where we're just have an image call to the uh, smaller logo. And then we have user 44, 45, 46, and these are just your core Joomla menu modules. Over here in right 9, we have our socializer wall again with some social links, and then a custom HTML module with a bit of a disclaimer. And then in bottom 1 here, we just have a custom HTML module with some text here for an address and the phone number and such. So let's go ahead and check out some other things about the template. First, let's go through the styles. So I'm going to go here to styles. We're in style 1 now. Here's style 2. Basically, the style changes consist of a change of the colors and the background here in this area. And I'm showing you this right now on the demo. So you're going to see this little eye here. This is not included in the template. A lot of people ask us about that. Uh, this is just a custom plugin. Um, we do have a lot of questions about that, and we're working on developing something for everyone so they can have something like this for their templates. And now let's go over here to Style 3. And look, more cupcakes, because everybody loves cupcakes. And if you don't, I think there's something wrong with you. So just another color scheme. And then our final style has some programmers here. And this is kind of cool because uh, this picture actually comes from uh, Eric, who was taking pictures at the Joomla World Conference. So we are looking at Joomlers, and we are looking at people working with Joomla. And this is the final color scheme. So now let's go back here to style one, and if you're not familiar with our layout options, the way that our template is built, everything is in regions. Um, the header and the footer are just there, and then we start with, like, region one is here, the inset. Region two is here. Region three is not shown here because it's the component. That's where the component is, and we hide it on the front page. So we, now we go to region four, five, and so on. So what regions allow you to do is to quickly prototype your site or do some alternative layouts. So I'm going to show you some alternative layouts here, simply done with changing the region order in the back end of the template. So here's our first alternative layout. For this one, we put the newsletter up here on top. You might want people to join your newsletter right away. And we move the testimonials area up here cupcake in the middle and then the region one is down here so when you're building your site out you know you can you'll go ahead and build it out but then you might just want to change the regions around and see you know you might say well what if this was up here or this over there and it gives you a very quick way to prototype your site and here's our alternative layout too here we put the image blog right underneath the main and this, subscribe to our newsletter, and so on. Alternative layout three. So as you see, you can move everything around in here, and really this template looks great any way you lay it out. You know, it's very clean, uh, very nice, it's, and it's very simplistic. And that's really where the web is going right now. It's more or less about content than big flashy things. So let's go here to Alternative Layout 4. And here we have our cupcake on the top. So hey, let's say you want to do a cupcake site with this. Well, there you go. No main slideshow, just the cupcake. And here's the final layout. This is a, a micro site layout. This would be just as minimal as you can get. You've got your slideshow and contact us. Let's go back here to the full layout so we can see everything. And let's look at the pages. Here is your standard two-column blog in Joomla. 
And now we've got our one column blog with some modules here on the right. Let's go ahead and do read more. As you see, we've got a nice article styled up here. When we styled it with the WYSIWYG editor to show you that this is exactly what you're going to get even when you use a WYSIWYG editor. But we suggest you use um, HTML view when you're doing articles and stuff, and that's if you know HTML. But as you know, you might do that, but you might want your client to be able to add news quickly. So we've gone ahead and styled everything with the WYSIWYG editor to make sure everything was working proper and looked good for basic styling. So now let's look at our portfolio view. Portfolio is just a three column blog with no intro text and just the image. And then we have our custom styles here, our portfolio center, which gives you a featured center. And then the left, and that's the feature on the left and then on the right. And we have included our image gallery plugin for a photo gallery. So here you have a nice little photo gallery and this is uh, using JavaScript. Go ahead and open it up and you can go ahead and page through it. And then we have our testimonial section. Just a single column blog with the image floated to the left. We've included a stylish 404 page. And then your normal Joomla stuff. You have the login form, search and register, and the contact form. And the wrapper. Loading in Joomla Ecstasy. All right, so that does it for the introductory tutorial. Uh, check the next tutorial for the administration side and how to set up the template. We hope you like Ocular, and we'll see you soon.